Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree video. So in this video we're going to be discussing how to optimize your Squarespace website for search engines so that you can increase your website's visibility and attract some more visitors. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. Now firstly what I want you guys to understand exactly what SEO is. Now for those who don't know SEO is just an acronym for search engine optimization. So what exactly does search engine optimization really mean? Just basically means or is a process of optimizing your website so that it ranks higher in the search engine results page. Another acronym for that, if you see it about, it is SERPs. Now I wanna go ahead and demonstrate the meaning of ranking and traffic. So if you take our actual company as an example. So we're called Profile Tree. So if I simply search up Profile Tree, you'll see that on the search engine, straight away I'll get a, or I have gotten our actual website on there. So that means that we're ranking uh, the highest for the keyword Profile Tree. And you can see under there, web designer is another keyword phrase. Now, if I go ahead and click on profile tree, so you can see straight away, uh, if I do click on it, that we are at the top for the ranking. And that just basically means that we're at the highest search results. So if you type in profile tree, you'll see our main website, of course, that's what we want to promote. Uh, there's LinkedIn, of course, you've got Facebook, you've got YouTube then, Instagram, and then even the government one where, where it says profile tree web design and digital marketing limited. So just goes to show with that very important keyword that it shows our actual business. Now, if we started say introducing some other keywords like profile tree web design. Now, if we search for that, I'll then get a couple of pages that's for the profile tree web design. So this would be including those keywords. So not only am I introducing profile tree, but I've also introduced another keyword, web and design. So of course I'm gonna get web design agency and it still has profile tree as the name. And it's highlighted as well, if you guys can see that, web design. Now there is one there where it's highlighted two, two areas, which is profile tree and web design. Now, if I do web design, web development, it'll give me the actual pages that's most relevant to my keyword search. So as you can see, it's web development agency. And within that, on the actual meta description, I'm getting profile tree, web development, websites. So there, that's just an example of that. And of course, we've got some of our videos as well that's linked with the current keywords. So that's just an example for one way to actually optimize and look for a particular website. So now that we've got a feel for what SEO really means, I'm going to go ahead and talk through some of the other ways you can optimize your Squarespace website for SEO. So we'll go ahead and dive into some tips and some of the best practices as well. So of course, I've went ahead and talked to you guys about with the uh, keyword research. Now, I haven't fully discussed uh, what uh, tools you could use. Now, when you are uh, doing some keyword research, that is one of them. So of course, our brand is Profile Tree. And of course, there was some research that has gone into that for keyword research. Now, keyword research is, of course, one of the very first steps in optimizing your website for SEO. Now, to do this, you want to maybe use some tools like the Google Keyword Planner, RFs, or SEMrush. So I'll go ahead and quickly show you guys some of the different ones that you could use as tools. So the first one there was the Google uh, keyword planner. So that's pretty much it. There you go. You can see on the name itself, Google ads. So that is the keyword planner.
So we'll go ahead and take a look and dive into the keyword planner. Now, of course, if you are a business, then you would want to add your billing country, time zone, currency, things like that. Once you've selected that, all you need to do is then explore the keyword planner. So this is pretty much what the keyword planner looks like. So of course you have an area there where you get taught how to use the keyword planner. Some of the new features and announcements that's been used as well for it. So it's a very, very, very handy tool to have. Of course, there's other ones like uh, SEMrush as well, or RFs, if you, uh, if you want to go ahead and use those tools. Now, as you can see, you can discover new keywords. So if we said profile tree, and then we'll get some results. So of course, that's the actual keyword that I've provided there. So hopefully that gives you some idea on to, uh, how to use the actual keyword plan, or of course you could use SEMrush or any uh, tools similar to the Google Keyword Planner. Now, of course, once you've done that, then you want to go ahead and optimize your website content. So once you've identified your target keywords, uh, it's then important to optimize your website content accordingly. So this would be the page titles, meta descriptions, your headings, body content. And of course, you want to target those keywords in natural and meaningful ways without overstuffing or like overflowing that uh, that website with the content for keywords. I'll go ahead and demonstrate what I mean for that. So here we are on Squarespace. Now, of course, if you have your pages here, you want to make sure you start uh, going through some of your pages. So I'll actually just exit that and then we'll go into the pages. Now, there's our contact. Uh, of course, this is the URL slug for it. Now, there's an option for you to go through the page settings for SEO, as you can see. So we've named, named this website of color, of course, Profile Treats. Uh, now, provide a SEO title. So of course, um, contact, so that'll be the contact page. I'll just have it have the SEO title as contact. Then, of course, I would have a SEO description. Uh, be sure to contact Profile Treats So obviously that's just a bit random. Uh, of course, you could write as many as you want there. You've got the uh, about 300 characters that you could type in. Uh, you also have a way to show what it'll look like for the actual SEO for that particular page. Now you could decide whether you want to hide that page from search results. That means that it'll completely block it from the search engines like Google, Bing, any sort of search engines that you use. Of course, that'll then block it. But that's how you pretty much uh, optimize each page. Now you've got other options there as well uh, to improve the SEO. Now there's ways like social images as well. So it says there in the description, social networks typically show your social sharing image together with your SEO title and description. So that's another way to boost it. Uh, of course, you would then have, so once you're happy enough, uh, save that particular page for it. And then of course, that'll be optimized for you. So then if I search up that particular page, I'm gonna uh, see within that uh, for the SEO is that it's contact, that's the SEO title. And then of course my meta description or SEO description, which is be sure to contact Profile Treats to see if we have the available, uh, availability. Now what's also great about uh, this SEO description is that you wanna go ahead and make sure that you add in a lot of keywords. Now the more keywords, the better. Of course, if they are, as, as we discussed earlier on, with web design and web development, you could see it under the actual SEO description. Now, your next way of optimizing is that you want to go ahead and use descriptive, descriptive URLs. Uh, Squarespace does allow you to customize your page URLs, so make sure that you use descriptive and keyword-rich URLs. Now, of course, 
In doing so, you'll help search engines understand the content of your pages and of course improve the, the chances of higher ranking in search results. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So uh, we actually went past it. It is on the general section and uh, that's the URL slug of course. The more unique the actual URL is, the better. That means it, uh, it'll actually gain an understanding on what that page is all about. Of course, this is just a contact page, so I've just got contact uh, added in. But if it's something different as well, like men's clothing, women's clothing, anything like that, or um, bakery treats, of course, give some detail onto the URL to boost the actual ranking for that page. Now, another sort of trick uh, as well is that you want to go ahead and optimize your images. Now, as well as keywords, search engines also like to look at the images of your website. So make sure you optimize your images with descriptive file names, alt text. This makes sure that you improve your website's accessibility and also improves your chances of higher ranking. Now, the way to do that, of course, is uh, within the SEO uh, or the social image there, that's where you would have it. Um, so of course you could search for images as well. And another thing is adding some description to your actual pages. So that's another way as well. So depending on the pages you have, uh, of course there's about, you've got FAQ, uh, home. Uh, of course within the sort of images there, make sure that you have an alt text for it. Now it doesn't have to be particularly seen, but as long as it captures a keyword within that image, then that means it'll be linked for a higher, it'll just gain an understanding of that actual website, that page. And on top of that, you'll be able to gain your ranking and SEO within that actual site. So the next one is to build quality backlinks. Now, Backlinks are links from other websites to your website. Now, search engines consider backlinks as a sign of authority and credibility. Now, try to build a quality backlink to, uh, from reputable and relevant websites to make sure that you improve your website's engine um, or search engine ranking. So that's pretty much uh, some of the tips and tricks uh, that I've stated there. Now, of course, if you guys want to get more of a uh, insight on SEO as well, um, so you could actually just search up within here uh, for SEO appearance. Uh, you can go through a checklist. So have a look at the checklist that uh, Squarespace goes through. They've actually got a list of different parts here. So go ahead and check this out uh, within their guide. Now, this is particularly very helpful, uh, of course, when you're doing your website. Now. They've got what we pretty much discussed, which is add a site title. Of course, that's a very, very important one. That's a, an important keyword. Another one is to add a site description, with the, which we've discussed as well. SEO descriptions and make sure you check your page and title formats. Now, they've also got the ones for site design as well as the information. That'll be like the browser icon, social sharing images, uh, 404 pages. So that's another one that we missed as well, which is 404 pages and that you review your content. You've got your domain and URL set up. Of course, that's some of the ones as well, like URL slugs. Um, another one as well is to add some blog posts within your actual website. So that's another good one to have as well. So there's quite a lot of things uh, to pack in for a website in order to actually push for SEO. Now, the more things that you have on your site, of course, you don't want to overfill it as we've discussed but the more uh, rich or keyword rich your actual site is, the more easily found it is on the search engines as well. Now, Squarespace themselves give you a full on guide. So make sure you have a read through it. Uh, of course, I've only covered some of the very, very base or foundation of some of the, the parts that you will of course need for SEO, if not just in general, the, actual, uh, the site itself. Uh, but yes, uh, in conclusion there, uh, just want to say that SEO or the Squarespace offers quite a lot of SEO friendly features that can help improve your website search engine visibility. 
Now, if you follow those tips and the best practices, as well as some of the parts that Squarespace has to offer uh, within their help center, you can go ahead and optimize your website to attract more visitors to your uh, site, as well as getting you better ranking and traffic. So, of course, there's many ways to do SEO. Um, as well as that, if you do need help with SEO, you can hire an expert. So they give you an option to do an SEO expert. So that's another way to do it. Of course, sometimes uh, it can be a little bit hard to find those keywords, then it would be best to invest a little bit of that money to maybe do an SEO expert. So guys, that is pretty much the end of the video. Hopefully uh, I've informed you enough of some of the parts for the Squarespace SEO, if not SEO overall. Uh, of course, if there is any questions, if you guys have any questions at all, please do leave them in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.